this merchant. Trust this one. What an amazing thing this Ebonheart packed. See? If you're looking for the...
I must finish this. Master Somtri always talks about walking the narrow path, but I just want to learn how to cast spells and such. Well, well, if it isn't the hero of the pact, glad you made it. I'm the leader of the Hidden Armagers. If you've heard of us, we haven't been doing our jobs. The Armagers do the Pact's dirty work. Sometimes that involves agents from the Morag Tong and other secret organizations, like Nariu here. She owes me a favor. 
It's a long series of stories we don't have time for. She saved my brother. I saved her life. We're back and forth. That's it for story time. You're here about Varna's Galarian? That crazy Altman wants to organize a secret meeting of the Alliance leaders in neutral territory. He'll be here any minute, so I'll let him give you the details. But don't worry, the Armagers will do our part. Little details. Making sure the right agents are in the right places. Protecting packed interests. That sort of thing. I could tell you more, but then Naryu would want to kill you. Or maybe just cut on you a little. Turns out I'm glad you came, Virian. I'm calling in that favor. You mean you called me here without knowing if you needed me, Thrush? Ugh. What's the favor? I need you to contact the other spy networks. The eyes of the Queen of the Old Merry Dominion and the Ring of Daggers in the Daggerfall Coven. Contact. You do me with the tips of my daggers. Repeatedly. Right? No, no. This is a diplomacy thing. No killing. Apologies Waste of a favor, latest. Thrush. Should have asked for something your lackeys couldn't do. We're even after this, you know. I know, but this is important. Thanks, Nariu. I'll even ride with you as far as Oradon. Let's go. Thank you for coming so quickly, Champion. I've been consulting with Countess Hakruba of the Fighters Guild. Both of our guilds believe the time has come to take the fight to Cold Harbor. But this places us in a delicate political position. Trust, as always. The Alliance leaders will never agree to join forces. And if our guilds only work with one Alliance, the other two will see it as a betrayal. For both guilds, our neutrality is our strength. We can't afford to take sides. The war in Cyrodiil has been long and bloody, and all three alliances are spread thinly. They can't commit resources to an assault on Cold Harbor without making themselves vulnerable. I want to bring all three leaders together. Maybe cut a deal. You're in a unique position. You can speak with authority, but you're not an alliance leader. You're respected. You have a reputation. They may let you get a word in before they leap at each other's throats. In short, you're the perfect diplomat. I found the perfect meeting place. A neutral location far from disputed territories. An island called Sturk. I can get you an audience with each leader and provide magical transportation. You just need to convince them to travel to Sturk. That's all I ask. I'll open the portal. I think it's best that I travel with you and make introductions as a neutral party. That might make things easier. Greatly esteemed Queen Irene Arana Aldmeri, it is my great honor to present to you... Vanus, you're so formal. I remember the patience and kindness you showed an awkward, freckled waif all those years ago on Fair Somerset. You captured this child's heart then, and it remains with you to this day. You warm an old man's heart, my queen. I remember well those halcyon days. As do I, my old friend. Sorry about all these guards. I'm told they're necessary. These are dark days. A wise precaution, my queen. My counsel would be no different. If you'll permit it, my companion would like to speak with you. Ah, yes. Let me meet this hero I've heard so much about. It's not often the heroic deeds of one who by all rights should be considered a mortal enemy reach my ears. Come, let's talk. Vanus. 
Sylvanus is a dear man. In many ways, he is family to me. Since he has given you his trust, I'm willing to set aside our differences. But under different circumstances, you and I would be sworn enemies. Well spoken and point taken. To be perfectly honest, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to meet you. Your exploits are legendary. A true champion is like a stone cast upon the waters of history. The ripples it creates travel far and wide. Humility is a noble thing, but you must also remain strong and self-assured. A true champion is also history's pawn, and history is a cruel and unfeeling master. But enough philosophy. What did you wish to speak with me about? And you need all three of the Alliance leaders to attend this meeting. A bold suggestion. I like it. Very well. I make no promises with regards to the negotiations themselves, but I will attend. That much, I promise. That went well, I think. Shall we move on? To Wayrest. Expect a certain level of formality. The court of High King Emmerich is often filled with scandalmongers and subversives. Therefore, protocol is the order of the day. Shall we? Tell the lovely Donmer, Nag, that she is very welcome to disguise herself as a soldier and show off. Raz, inappropriate. Esteemed High King Emmerich, I thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I would not presume to waste your time without good reason. Your Majesty, this is Scald King Yorin's personal representative, here to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor Crisis. Give my best to Thrush. Tell him I hope we can dance again soon. I didn't think it possible. Well done! We must return and begin the preparations. We have much to do. Come. I'm gonna mingle their heads right off their necks one of these days. All three leaders have agreed to join us on Sturk. Now comes the tricky part. Individually, the leaders are rational, 
even reasonable. But get them together and... Well, you'll see soon enough. Everything's been prepared. Are you ready to travel to the summit? Then, with your permission, I'll open the portal to Sturk. May Oriel's hand guide us all. The word has been given. A moment, please! I'll wait for you on the other side. Our representative, Captain Alfari, is in charge of security. Welcome to the island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just up ahead, through the ruins. I'm told they'll be arriving at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. Perhaps you can help them see the wisdom in cooperation. I don't envy you the task. We've already assembled quite a team of experts for the Cold Harbor invasion itself. I'll try to introduce you to some of them on the way to the meeting. Lead on! Two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience between them. Reaching a compromise will be no small task, I promise you. Turn. Look! It's Lady Laurent! Careful with that, you clumsy fool. Do hurry it up. We're missing everything. I never weary of your charms, Lady Laurent. That is Galarian as I live and breathe. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slode. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Ball's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. Stibbons! Haven't you finished tying those bags yet? Oh, you really are hopeless. Farewell, milady. We must dash. We're expected at the summit. Well, look who's here. It's nice to see a familiar face. Can you believe that the Mage's Guild actually asked for our help? Expert consultants, they called us. It's great to see you again, old friend. I feel better knowing that you're part of this invasion force. Now, there's something I never expected to be a part of. An invasion force. Wonderful. It's Tellinger. Here's Tellinger, the artificer himself. Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanus, your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what Dwemer rubbish pit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by, won't you? I don't have the time or the energy, Tellinger, so I'll bid you good day. I remember you. You're the reason my master back in Stonefalls almost ate me for dinner. Thank the divines I was able to hide in that chicken coop. I pray these talks go smoothly. We need to learn to work together. The captain in charge of security, Alfari, is over there. Captain Alfari, 
Has the island been secured? Aye. All ships in the area have been diverted away from the island, and the wards are in place. And the Alliance leaders? They'll be here any moment. You three should get over there as soon as you can. We're on our way. Thank you, Captain. We must make haste. Once we get to Cold Harbor, it will be open season on Daedra. Guard duty on a tropical island? Sure, why not? Bah! I can't stand this glorified guard duty. Give me a skull to cleave. I hope this invasion goes smoothly. I've got more than enough scars for one lifetime. High King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. Queen Iran of the Old Merry Dominion. Yoren Skald King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Baal commands. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Venus, but I'm going to check on my lion guard. Tractable fools. Their pride will see us all dead. We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Bal's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Willing and able. But, like the Mages Guild, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The Alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. Unless all three Alliance leaders consent to it, our hands are bound. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Why don't you visit each of them in their camps? See if you can reason with them individually. I tried, but these thick-skulled bastards will not see reason. But what about the war in Cyrodiil? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric hordes. Without the Ebonheart pact, they do not stand a chance. <laughs> you make some sense after all. I will support this foolish plan if you can convince the other leaders.
Euron is being stubborn out of spite. He's your king. Can't you reason with him? Is there? What did you have in mind? Hmm, perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. Don't presume to think you can intimidate me. History will remember me as a bold and decisive leader who cared about her people. But you do have a point. If you can convince the others, we'll try your plan. Now, leave me in peace. Your Skald King has all the patience of a bullet mating season. This is a negotiating table, not a battlefield. Can't you talk some sense into that thick head of his? That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few. And Molag Baal's followers are legion. Arke's beard, you're a bold one. But you may be right. If you can convince the Barbarian and the Child Queen to agree, I'll consider it. Any luck? Or are they still at an impasse? I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. With very good reason. But the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. I have an ill feeling about this. He has arrived. I can't. Caldian! What's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! These are the great leaders of Tamriel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place, so I can crush them like insects. Oh, oh, oh. Snake back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine.
thought we were safe here, hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Agreed. There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. Yes, at the Iliad Well at the center of the island. After that terrible display of power, I don't think they have much choice. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy. Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor. Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Manos is right. The guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emery. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Stark interior. The champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, champion. Let's go! Protect us all. We're as ready as we shall ever be. Unfortunately, yes. It's not the massive army we'd hoped for. But now that Molag Ball knows we're coming, a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected. It's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. Survive then, have you? Jolly good. Jolly good. Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me. But I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. Quest. Quest! I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. Welcome to the beautiful gardens of Cold Harbor. Do have a look around. Lovely day for it. Soak up the ambiance, the grandeur, the wonder of it all. I have the oddest feeling we've discussed this before, or did I already mention that? No matter. I am Sir Cadwell, the undaunted knight of the court of Cold Harbor, champion of chivalry, defender of the defenseless, Shepherd to the soul shriven. Uh, am I not speaking the common tongue of Nern? I was once fluent, but time does get on, doesn't it? I'm sorry, I forgot the question, though I'm quite sure I already answered it. You really should pay more attention. Same, that's in the north, isn't it? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Did I? 
I don't recall that, but there is a bridge just ahead. Leads to the city, rather a drab, empty place at present, but a little paint, a potted plant or two. And honestly, it's not as if you've got a lot of choices right now, so off you go. Yeah. 